do those. I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves. Motor's locked up on this one, so we're not going to be able to adjust them completely, but I'll kind of walk you through that process. Um, first thing you want to do, this is the intake side here. This is your exhaust. So intake has a five millimeter, two five millimeter Allen bolts that you need to remove here. And go ahead and pull those out. And then there's your intake um, adjuster there. The other side, you can have three of the five millimeter Allens. We'll go ahead and pull these now. Now I've got the valve clearances for you, what the, what the specs are supposed to be. And those I'll pull up here for a, in a minute for you. Um, and then you're gonna want a set of feeler gauges. Now the feeler gauges you can get about anywhere. They're nothing, nothing special. We've got uh, your cam chain sprocket cover here on this side held in by two Phillips, or, yeah, two Phillips screws. There's your exhaust side there. Now the second thing we're going to do is take it, slide this motor over like this so you can see a little bit better, but pull these Phillips screws and there'll be a handful of them on this cover here, but you've got to do that to see top dead center. Now, that's just getting a tool like this. It's, a, it's an impact driver. You take, turn it the directions you'd normally turn it and hit it. What that does is, is push it down on that screw, kind of breaks it loose as well as turning it in the correct direction. I've loosened these screws up, that way it doesn't take as much time. These can be a challenge uh, on these older motorcycles. So, there's your cover there. There's a common issue for these to crack and break because of this chain. If they bind, a lot of times it'll break that case. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is um, grab a wrench. And you can see here on these motors, they've got a, a mark. And this mark is going to be where you line everything up with. Um, you can see it there right on the right on the engine case and then if you go over here and because this engine is locked up we're not gonna be able to, we're not gonna be able to show you exactly but we've got a T and an F and there's lines on the flywheel you want to line those up with the T for top dead center now as, when you get those lined up you're going to that's gonna mean you're on top dead center and you can now adjust your valves so what you'll do is go to here and the valves are going to be tight right now because of the motor being locked up but you go ahead with a 10 millimeter loosen this lock nut here and then there's kind of a square headed adjuster screw and that adjuster screw you're going to back out or tighten up depending on what you need to do your clearances are here intake of 0.002 to 0.004 inches your exhaust is 0.0047 to 0.0067 Essentially, that's going to be five to seven for your exhaust. And we uh, will adjust both of those intake, again, a little bit tighter, exhaust a little bit looser. Um, but that is how you adjust the valves. Now, what you want to do then, what I do is leave my feeler gauge stuck in there, tighten down your locking screw, make sure you're still where you need to be with the feeler gauges, pull it out, turn the motor over, make sure there's no interference, and you're all set. So that is valve adjustment on an XT250. Now what we're going to do is pull this cam chain sprocket and you'll, you'll see some indicators on here that you're on top dead center as well and I'll show you those. And a lot of these screws just because of the age of the bike are rounded off so make sure you use the right screwdriver make sure it's not too small. Cover pulled right now and kind of same thing at the top of your cylinder head is a line. And this line will, and this line on your sprocket should match up. You're on top dead center then. So you want to make sure that line on your sprocket, that line at the top of your cylinder head, line up. So that also means you're on top dead center.